Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Nawa ay patnubayan tayo ng Panginoong Diyos as we go along with our review. Share ko lang din ang isa sa mga sikreto ko, How Did I Pass the Let Exam? Way back 2017. Self-review po ako, tulad nyo, at saka nagtitake po ako ng Memo Plus Gold Capsule a day, okay? Available po yan sa mga butika, okay? Alright, this video consists of 50 questions pa rin, okay? On social studies. Marami po ditong concerning the Constitution, the 1987 Constitution. So, before the presentation proper, may kunting patrivia tayo. Consists of six questions na 90% lalabas sa LET exam. Okay. So, the total measurement of the Philippine territory is? The answer is 300,000 square kilometer. Another trivia the winner of the 1987 SNAP presidential elections was President Marcos Sr. And it is defined as the fundamental law of the land. It is constitution. The presidency referred to as golden years due to lack of corruption. It is during the presidency of Ramon Magsaysay. And the higher the income, the higher the tax rate. It is called progressive income tax. And if the tax is constant and unaffected by the level of income, it is called proportional tax. And the higher the income, the lower the tax rate. It is regressive tax. Okay, so shall we begin with our uh, formal uh, presentation on let review. Question number one. No president shall serve for more than blank successive terms. Ano po ang sagot dito? The answer is two. Okay, ito po yung reference natin. Bakit two yung answer natin? Section four of Article 7 of the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines states that no vice president shall serve for more than two successive term. Okay? Number two. There shall be a blank who shall have the same qualification and term of serve office and be elected with and in the same manner as the president. Okay? The answer is it's vice president. Our answer is based on the Section 3 of the Article 7 of 1987 Constitution. It states there, there shall be a vice president who shall have the same qualification and term of office and be elected with and in the same manner as the president. He or she may be removed from office in the same manner as the president. Okay, so yung mga basis natin sa mga answer is my uh, legit talaga na source, which is the 1987 Constitution. Question number three. The following are the <clears throat> the following are qualification of a president under the 1987 Constitution. Except, okay, take note po tayo ha sa mga word na except. Okay, so before telling you the answer, let me read this. Uh, statement from the 1987 Constitution. It states there, no person may be elected unless he is a natural born citizen of the Philippines, a registered voter, able to read and write, at least 40 years of age on the day of the election, and a resident of the Philippines for at least 10 years immediately preceding such election. Okay, so among the choices, ano daw dyan ang hindi kasali sa mga qualification? It is letter D. Okay, question number four. No person may be elected president unless he is blank citizen of the Philippines. The answer is natural born. Ano po yung basis natin? It is from the 1987 Constitution that says 
No person may be elected president unless he is a natural born citizen of the Philippines. Question number five. The executive power shall be vested in the blank of the Philippines. Okay. The answer here is president. According to yung basis natin, bakit yun yung sagot natin? According to the Article 7, Section 1 of the 1987 Constitution, executive power shall be vested in the Philippines. The position of the president is of the paramount importance as it function as the head of the executive branch of the government responsible for the faithful execution of the laws. Number six, the following are the members of the Judicial and Bar Council except, so my except na naman. So, lahat ng mga choices are members except daw sa isa. Okay, so before telling you the answer, let me read this section eight of the Philippine Constitution. A Judicial and Bar Council is hereby created under the supervision of the Supreme Court, composed of the Chief Justice as Official Chairman, the Secretary of Justice as, uh, and a Representative of Congress as ex officio members, a Representative of the Integrated Bar, a professor of law, a retired member of the Supreme Court. So, ano po yan ang hindi nabanggit? It is the President. So, the Chief of Justice, the Justice Secretary, and the Integrated Bar are the members of the Judicial and Bar Council. Number seven, the member of the Supreme Court must be at least blank years of age. The answer here is 40 years of age. Okay, so the members of the Supreme Court must be at least 40 years of age and must have been for 15 years or more judges of a lower court or engaged in the practice of law in the Philippines. Okay, tandaan po natin yan. Number eight. No person shall be appointed member of the Supreme Court or any other, any lower collegiate court unless he is a blank citizen of the Philippines. Okay, of the Philippines. So the answer here is natural born. Okay, so our basis, no? is extracted from the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, Article 8, Section 7. It states there, No person shall be appointed member of the Supreme Court or any lower collegiate court unless he is a natural-born citizen of the Philippines. Number 9. The Supreme Court shall be composed of and 14 blank. Okay? The answer is Chief Justice and Associate Justice. Okay, let me read no, the, the basis of our answer. So, in 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, Article 8, Section 4, the Supreme Court shall be composed of the Chief Justice and 14 Associate Justices. Number 10. The judicial power vested, uh, shall be vested in one blank and in such lower court as may be established by law. Ano po yung sagot natin dyan? It's Supreme Court. Okay? So, Article 8, Section 1, judicial power rests with the Supreme Court as established by law. Number 11. Okay? As you notice, no? Uh, nag-focus talaga tayo sa constitution. It's very important kasi marami talagang lalapas sa exam. Okay. So, number 11, the state shall develop a self-reliant and independent blank effectively controlled by Filipinos. Ano yung sagot dito? Okay. So, kinuha natin yung proof ng sagot natin na it's 
national economy from the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, Article 2, Section 19. It states there, the state shall develop a self-reliant and independent national economy effectively controlled by Filipinos. Question number 12. The state recognizes the role of women in nation building and shall ensure the fundamental black before the law of women and men. Okay? It is equality. That is from Section 14 of Article 2 of the Constitution. Provides that the state recognizes the role of women in nation building and shall ensure the fundamental equality before the law of women and men. Number 13. The state shall give priority to blank science and technology, arts, culture, and sports to foster patriotism and nationalism. So the answer here is education. Okay, extracted from Article 2, Section 17 provides there that the state shall give priority to education, science and technology, arts and culture, sport and sports to foster patriotism and nationalism, accelerate social progress, and promote total human liberation and development. Number 14. The state affirms bank as the primary social economic force. So it shall protect the rights of workers and promote their welfare. Is it labor, legislative, workers, or youth? The answer is labor. Okay? Extracted from still in Article 2 of the Republic uh, 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, Section 18 states that affirms labor as a primary social economic force. It shall protect the rights of workers and promote their welfare. So the state affirms, okay, the state affirms labor as a primary source of uh, economic force. Number 15. The state recognizes the vital role of the blank and information and nation building. It is communication. Section 24 of Article 2 provides that the state recognizes the vital role of communication and information in nation building. Number 16. The state shall ensure the blank of local government. Okay? So the answer here is autonomy. Uh, basis natin, Section 25, Article 2, it states that the state shall ensure the autonomy of local government. Number 17. The state adopts and implements a policy of a full public blank and of, of all its transactions involving public interest. So, ano yung sagot natin dito? It is disclosures. Okay? This is our basis of our answer here is extracted from the Freedom of Information Manual. It's rational states that it is the policy of the state to adopt and implement a policy of full public disclosure of all its transactions involving public interest, subject to reasonable conditions prescribed by law. Okay, so it is disclosure, parang expo exposure, parang uh, the state shall ensure no, that the public is uh, aware no, of its transactions involving their interest. Okay, so forward tayo, number 18. The Philippines 
uh, consistent with a nation's national interest adopts and pursue a policy of freedom from its from blank in its territory okay it is yes it is letter c nuclear weapons still extracted from the 1987 constitution of the republic of the philippines article 2 section 8 the philippine consistent it states there that the philippines consistent with the national interest adopts and pursue a policy of freedom from nuclear weapons in its territory number 19 the state shall pursue a blank foreign policy it is independent okay article 2 section 7 the state shall pursue an independent foreign policy in its relations with other states the paramount consideration shall be the national sovereignty territorial integrity national interest and the right of self-determination okay so independent po tayo okay number 20 the separation of blank and the blank shall be inviolable okay so what is inviolable it is secure from violation it cannot be violated okay so the answer here is the church and the state uh, the Constitution declares that the separation of church and state shall be inviolable. That is from Article 2, Section 6. Number 21. The prime duty of the government to its people is to what? It is very clear. The answer here is serve and protect. Okay. So, still in the Article 2, Section 4, it states there that the prime duty of the government is to serve and protect the people. 22. Philippine renounces blank as an instrument of national policy. Okay? The answer here is war. Okay? Article 2, Section 2. No? This is our basis here. The Philippine, it states there, huh? uh, the Philippine renounces war as an instrument of national policy, adopts the generally accepted principles of international law as part of the law of the land, and adheres to the policy of peace, equality, justice, freedom, cooperation, and unity with all nations. 23. Civilian authority is at all times... Uh, blank over the military authority. Okay. Sino ba yung uh, sino ba yung mas, mas above no? over the military uh, authority? It is Okay. Yes, yes. It is supreme. Okay. Ano ba yung basis natin dito? Okay. So, Article 2. Section 3 na po ito, no? Civilian authority is at all times supreme. Okay. Supreme over the military. Okay. So, the armed forces of the Philippines is the protector of the people and the state. Its goal is to secure the sovereignty of the state and the integrity of national territory. Okay. Supreme po ang answer ng 23. 24. The Philippine is what state? Okay, it is democratic republic. Okay, it is um, evidence in the section one of article two. It states there that the Philippines is a democratic and a republican state. Sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. It's democratic republic. 25. A system of government in which the, legislat the legislature and executive share power through an elected assembly. It's parliamentary. Okay, question number 26. A political system governed by representatives of a certain religion. Anong pangalan ng political system na yan? It is theocracy. 
Okay. So, define muna natin ano itong theocracy. Bakit ito yung sagot natin? Theocracy refers to a form of government in which a specific religious ideology determines the leadership, laws, and customs. In many instances, there is little to no distinction between scriptural uh, laws and the legal codes. <coughs> okay. Question number 27 calls for the comparison of the political institution and practices of two or more countries by finding the similarities and differences between them. Okay, as you read the question, you have to understand that. Kasi parang nagbibigay yan ng clue. Ano yung iisasagot mo, okay? Let me read the question again. Calls for the comparison of the political institutions and practices of two or more countries by finding the similarities and differences between them. Political scientists can evaluate the effectiveness of different ideas and the influence of circumstance on policy. Ang sagot natin dito ay, it's obviously comparative politics. Okay, why? Because comparative study of other countries, citizens, uh, different political units either in whole or in part and analyzes the similarities and differences. Compare. Okay? Comparative politics. 28. Founded on the methods and the technique used in the actual management of state affairs by the executive, legislative, and judiciary branches of the government. Ano yan? It's Public administration. Okay? Focus tayo sa mga methods, techniques, and it's how they manage, no? Actual management. So, it's public administration. 29. Uh, are specific to the countries being studied? Okay? Most political scientists pay particular attention to the government and politics of their own nation as it is generally easiest to access and has the most effect. Easiest to access. So the answer here is national government and politics. 30. It is how the people react to certain uh, to political conditions and influences. Okay, the word the keyword here that you have to notice is react. So it is political behavior because when you react, no, react. The meaning of re, uh, of react is respond or a behavior in a particular way in response to something. So it is political behavior. Okay. Let's move on to question number 31. It is the study of the fundamental questions about the state, government, politics, property, law, and the enforcement of legal code by authority. What they are, uh, why they are needed, and what makes a government legitimate. The answer is political philosophy. Okay, why? Because uh, when you say philosophy in the broadest sense, it is an activity undertake when they have to understand the fundamental truths about themselves. So the question here is, uh, they study the fundamental questions, so they are eager to know what is the truth. So the answer is political philosophy. Moving on, question number 32, the most essential instrument of the democratic government is the civil liberties okay let's know what is liver civil liberties so they are these are the rights that protect individual from unjust or oppressive government action they are an essential part of, an, of any democracy and help ensure that all citizens are treated fairly and with respect 33 the first and only President in the Fourth Philippine Republic. He promised that uh, he promised to make the country great again. Okay, sino po itong presidente na ito? Okay, so let's look. Uh, let us first know Manuel L. Quezon. Manuel L. Quezon is the first Filipino president of the Commonwealth under American law. 
Okay. And then Jose Laurel, no, it's the second republic and known as puppet president, government caretaker during the World War II. And Manuel Rujas is the first president of the third republic. So the answer here is it's Ferdinand Marcos Sr., okay? He, he was the first and only president in the fourth Philippine Republic, and he promised to make the country or the Philippines great again. Okay, number 34, what was the Philippine government under the 1935 Constitution? It's the Commonwealth. Okay, so why? According to Article 17, Section 1 of the Constitution, uh, the government established by this Constitution shall be known as the Commonwealth of the Philippines. Number 35, the first president who was buried in the Libingan ng mga bayani. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so tapos na pala itong question na ito. Okay, so ito pala no, uh, president na first buried in the libingan ng mga bayani, it is Carlos P. Garcia. Okay, so question number 36. It is a written instrument by which the fundamental powers of the Philippine government are established, limited, and defined, and by which their power is distributed among several branches for the benefit of the people. It is the Philippine Constitution. Number 37. It is the total market value of all final goods and services produced in the Country's economy along a specified period of time, usually one year. Ano ba yan? Gross national, gross domestic, national economy, domestic economy. The answer here is gross domestic product or GDP. Okay, so gawa dito sa Pinas. It's gross domestic product. Number 38. Which government branch has the duty to ascertain and give effect? to the intent of constitutional provisions as adopted or approved by its framers? The answer is the Supreme Court. Number 39, the rule of majority is an unwritten law of a democratic government for the Congress to declare the existence of a state of a war or to all a constitutional convention vote. Blank vote of all its respected members is required. Okay, ano ba? Um, how much? Okay, so the answer here is uh, two-thirds majority of all its members. Okay, so for the Congress to declare the existence of a state of war or to all a constitutional convention, two-thirds majority vote of all its respected members is required, okay? It's two-thirds majority. Number 40, they are the rights of the citizens, okay, which give them the power, no? Uh, has been, um, it is the inherent right of the state, no, which uh, to condemn a private property to public use upon payment of just uh, compensation. Okay, ano ba yan? You're going to, uh, uh, to condemn private property to public use upon payment of just compensation. Anong classing power ba yan? Okay, it's the power of imminent domain. Number 41, the power of the state in act laws or regulations in relation to persons and properties as may promote public health, public morals, safety, general welfare, and convenience of the people. It is the police power. Okay? So, yung keyword mo dito, parang uh, safety na lang, general welfare. It's uh, police power. It is the power of the state to impose uh, proportional charges, to persons, property, or property rights for the use and support of the government and to enable it to discharge its appropriate function. Okay? So, sa question pa lang, alam mo na kung ano yung isagot mo. Kasi, it's um, 
the charges given to the persons no or the property no that in turn will be given to the government for uh, appropriate no appropriate usage so it is power of taxation 43 it is the right and obligation to vote by qualified citizens in the election of certain national and local officials of the government and in the decision of public questions submitted to the people. Okay, so keyword natin dito is vote. Okay, it is right to suffrage. Letter C. 44. It is a method by which a public officer may be removed from office during his tenure or before the expiration of his term by a vote of the people after registration of a petition signed by a required percentage of a qualified voters. Ang sagot po dito ay recall. It's recall. Uh, recall is the process by which citizens can be removed, um, can uh, remove no citizens can remove elected officials from office before there is uh, it is completed 45 it is a vote of the people expressing their choice or uh, choice for or against a proposed law or enactment submitted to them it is uh, applied to an election at which any proposal amendments to or revision of the constitution is submitted to the people for their ratification okay the answer here is referendum yes it is an event in which people of the country or the state vote for or against a law that deals with a specific issue okay number 46 na tayo uh, it is the power of it is the power to apply laws to contest or dispute concerning legally um yes recognize rights or duties before the state and the private persons brought before the judicial tribunals it is judicial power okay Question number 47, it sets down in the inequivocal terms to mandate that all government officials and employees shall at all times be answerable for their misconduct to the people. Okay, it is very obvious that the answer is accountability. Okay, they are answerable for any misconduct no, to the people. Number 48. Uh, this refers to those non-dominant groups in our country which possesses and which to preserve ethnic, religious, or linguistic traditions markedly different from the rest. Very obvious ang sagot. It is indigenous uh, cultural groups. Okay, they are uh, percent ethnic. Okay, so it's indigenous cultural groups. Number 49, it shall have the sole power to try all cases of impeachment. The answer is the Senate. In 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, Article 2, Section 6, the Senate shall have the sole power to try and decide all cases of impeachment. Number 50, the last question. Um, yes. Uh, shall be the sole judge of the electoral disputes involving the president-elect and the vice president-elect under the 1987 constitution. The answer here is the Supreme Court. Okay, why? Uh, the Supreme Court shall be the sole judge of all contests relating to the election returns, qualification of the president or vice president, and may promulgate its rules for the for the purpose okay so thank you for watching okay balikan natin yung trivia natin no trivia natin sa pinakauna okay so okay balikan muna natin so that you will really remember those uh, baka kasi alalabas uh, yun sa exam okay so how many uh, yes ito ito Okay. Okay. So here, the total measurement of the Philippine territory is, do not forget, it's 300,000 square meter. 
terms. Okay, so the winner of the 1986 SNAP presidential elections, it's President Marcos Sr. Okay, it is defined as the fundamental law of the land. It is constitution. Okay, so the presidency referred to as golden years due to lack of corruption. Lack of corruption. Ang ganda, no? Uh, during presidency of Ramon Magsaysay. And this one, okay, lalabas to. Uh, the higher the income, the higher the tax rate. It is progressive income tax. The higher the income, the higher the tax rate. Progressive. Uh, when we say constant and unaffected, it is proportional. Okay? Constant and unaffected by the level of income, it's proportional. Now, when we say the higher the income, the lower the tax, diba? Parang opposite siya. It is regressive tax. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that you learn a lot from this presentation. I'm hoping that you, ha uh, you are going to share this to your, uh, to your friends who are also... Uh, gusto din na uh, makapasa sa examination, sa let examination this coming March 2023. Now, take note that um, it will be using the new curriculum. So, be sure that you are updated with the current events and all the relevant informations that are still applicable up to present. Okay, thank you so much for watching and God bless us all and good afternoon once again.